daughter-in-law about 936. She told her she saw a child on 459 right before exit 10 um, that appeared to be three to four years old by themselves. She's pulled over. She called 911. But in the process, at some point, she got out the car. Um, my daughter-in-law could hear her asking the child if they were okay. The child didn't respond, or at least she didn't hear her respond. He or she respond. And then she heard um, our daughter Carly scream. And from there, all we could hear was noise, background noise in her phone, which we later found out was noise from the interstate. And so um, they have found her, um, her wig and her hat and her cell phone that were um, in close proximity to her car. So if anyone sees Carly from the pictures that we have um, put out, just keep in mind, um, because her wig came off, her hair would be braided down to her scalp. So she won't have, you know, long hair or anything like that, that um, is reflected on the picture. She pretty much has cheekbones like me. Um, pretty much our face is the same structure. So um, that's pretty much all the information we have. We do have some indication that there may have been a gray vehicle that a trucker saw that pulled in front of her car at some point as they were passing along the interstate. And that's all the information or leads we have at this time. So I just ask everyone, if you would pray, we are trusting God. We are staying positive. We are not allowing any negative thoughts to enter our minds. So all that we're doing is trusting God, believing God that our daughter will be brought home safely. And you have a lot of uh, support here, yes, family and friends as well. For everyone that is supporting us and has been supporting us since they heard of her missing last night. So we're just eternally grateful. And again, we have more support coming. coming. We want to com continue to, to apply pressure to this thing. We don't want this to die down. Um, we need this to blow up. Yes. Um, so if anyone sees anything, no matter how minute, no matter how insignificant you think it is, Please contact 911, contact us, uh, and just, just, just keep us in your prayers. Absolutely. And we actually are, these people are here to help start a search party. Anaya Blanchard's mom is also on her way over here to help lead us in the search of, she has experience in it and she's going to give us some pointers as well. But we just ask everyone to please, 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 wherever you are, if you're not in Birmingham, whatever, they could be in Georgia, we don't know, Mississippi, Tennessee, anywhere, just please keep your eyes out and um, be vigilant. Absolutely, absolutely. Mr. and Mrs. Russell, just thank you so much for your time. And Lori, we're going to start this new segment off with some breaking news. A young woman who went missing last night in Hoover. Uh, we want you to take a look at this picture right here on the screen. Now, this is 25-year-old Carlethia or Carly Russell. Hoover police say she disappeared from the site of I-459 at about 930 last night. Details are unusual and concerning. And investigators say she did call 911 saying she saw a toddler walking on the side of the interstate near exit 10. After calling 911, she stopped to check on the child and called a family member to tell them what was going on. The family member lost contact with her, but the line remained open. When Hoover police arrived on the scene, they found Russell's car still running, her phone and smartwatch inside, but she was gone. Now, if you know where she might be, you are asked to call 911. Jonathan Skinner looking to be talking with family members sometime this morning, so stay with us. Right